And that is how the British make a cup of tea. Hi guys, welcome back. So today, this is a little bit of a special video. Uh, it's just one to say hello from myself and also to celebrate 5,000 subscribers on the Molly Games YouTube channel. So thank you very much to everybody who subscribes, watches, likes, and comments on all the videos. Uh, you're really helping the channel to grow. So a big, big thank you. So I did have a community post a little while ago um just asking for some questions from yourselves for a little bit of a q a so that you could get to know me a little bit better there's also going to be a little bit of a update regarding the channel so do stick around i'll leave that towards the end but for now let us dive into the questions so starting off with question one we have no effects 989 congrats on getting 5k subs sensei morning number one are you considering maybe doing aoe 2 defense videos or tutorials for example tower rushes drush etc well that is a very good question so if you don't know i do have two videos regarding uh, defense in aoe 2 such as uh, the tower rush and one that's uh, a little bit more general uh, that sort of covers how to defend your early game so i'll put the links in the video description for that one so do check those ones out and no effects the second question what kind of music do you listen to any guilty pleasures so the sort of music i listen to is generally uh, bands like oasis they're quite old bands uh, oasis the Foo fighters and then i also like bands like the beatles they're like really old bands and also queen but yeah i think in terms of real guilty pleasures i really like frank sinatra uh, a lot of my karaoke songs are uh, Sinatra songs. Okay, following off from that, we've got Dutch Ava. So what civilizations would you like to see added in AoE 2? There's apparently another DLC coming. So yeah, I don't really know, to be honest. I've, I've not really got much of a clue as to what the new civs are going to be. It's going to be quite interesting. I think we're only going to get one, um, just because it's then going to be in line with uh, like the civ selection board, where there's that one little tile missing at the bottom uh, right-hand corner. So yeah, I think we're going to have one. Um, I'd probably uh, say it's not going to be a European civ civilization possibly another african one uh, as uh, spirit of the law has alluded to so yeah i think spirit of the law is probably on something there okay so the next question is from tg 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 this says what other games do you play do you play different genres as well but what content can we expect from you in the future would you be down to try different projects like how high could you climb with only trushing as a case so quite a few questions there in terms of what other rts games do i play mainly at the moment it's just age of empires 2 and age of empires 4 but certainly in the past I've played games like uh, Homeworld, which I do have a little bit of a Let's Play series on the channel, Command & Conquer, mainly Command & Conquer Red Alert 1. And then going back further, there is the old Dune game. So there's Dune 2, which was the, the granddaddy of RTS strategies, and then there was Dune 2000. I used to play Age of Mythology. Uh, my very first Age of Empires game was Age of Empires 1. I generally tend to stick with strategy games of some sort, so games like the Total War series. In terms of different genres, yeah, I quite enjoy city building type games or simulation games uh, so i used to play uh, planet zoo and planet coast i did have a few videos for planet zoo on the uh, channel other games such as evil genius 2 tropico series yeah quite a, quite a wide range of stuff really in terms of rts games that have come in do keep an eye out for crossfire legion looks like a very promising game very much a bit like command and conquer uh, really fun to play actually i do have a video for that on the channel so you can expect to see a bit more of that in the future in terms of content to expect in the future uh, it's generally going to be yeah age of empires 4 age of empires 2 i would expect predominantly but uh, i'm going to be branching out into other strategy uh, games so other rts games will be featuring a little bit more on the channel so uh, do look forward to those many of the new games i'm certainly looking forward to manor lords when that comes out that will definitely be on the channel what have been down for trying different projects like how hard can i climb with uh, nutrition uh, i was going to do a little bit of a series around how high i can climb by just uh tatty rushing uh, but yeah i could certainly see about doing a you know how high can i climb series but i think it'd have to be some sort of stupid strategy okay so moving on there we've got nest how long have you been invested in AOE as a player yourself? When did you start mentoring new players? And what has been your greatest experience so far regarding getting to know people uh, get, by getting involved in the AOE community? Okay, some really good questions there. So uh, as I've already mentioned, I've been invested in AOE since AOE 1 was released. Uh, I can remember you know, eagerly anticipating the release of AOE 1 back in the day. Played AOE 1, played AOE 2. Uh, AOE 2, I did try playing it on Microsoft's uh, MSN Gaming Zone a little bit, but I just kept getting tower rushed every game so I stopped uh, but I did used to play on LAN 
uh, quite a bit with uh, friends and family. And then really in terms of getting properly invested, probably about 2016 uh, started getting into it. I bought the HD version of AOE2. I uh, did start making a channel around that sort of time as well. well that's when the channel initially launched, but uh, it lasted six months and I only had about 60 subs, perhaps not even that. Um, it just wasn't really growing. And I had a child, well, not me, my wife. So I kind of put YouTube on pause. Uh, in terms of mentoring new players, I wouldn't say I'd necessarily mentor new players. I don't really do much coaching or anything. Greatest experience so far regarding getting to know people in the AOE community. And I'm generally just interacting, talking with you guys um, on the, in the comments. I you know, really enjoy interacting with you all. I have made some uh, some good friends as well from, from this. Specifically, a little shout out to Farm Man Official. He's uh, become a good friend of mine uh, after inviting me to take part in the AOE League tournament. And uh, being a fellow YouTuber, we uh, sort of bounce off each other, share ideas, and uh, generally just have a good laugh. One of the funniest things actually was playing against uh, a player on the rank ladder, and they used the 21 population Ethiopian archer rush on me, and uh, yeah, beat me. Absolutely battered me with it. I don't think the guy particularly uh, recognised me at first, and I asked him if he found the build order for his uh, build on YouTube, and he said he had. So that was quite funny. Getting beaten by my own builds. Okay, then we have one from Matthias Decor. When can we expect the highly anticipated rematch against Kletzkopter? So, <laughs> it turned out uh, Kletzkopter, which I'm assuming is, is Matthias, featured in my Japanese Man at Arms and Archers build order, and I beat him. But Kletzkopter's now about 1500, and I'm still 1200, so he's the winner, really. Okay, then we've got uh, HFC or HF Chang. Uh, I'm no, never sure how to pronounce this one. <laughs> but very much a regular to the channel, so thank you very much for putting in the question. If you could be and live and fight as an AOE2 unique unit in the army of one of the Sims back in their heyday, what would you be? So I suppose really I've got to be patriotic and say uh, the British longbowman. Okay, moving on from that, we've got Geeky Showtime Warrior. Two questions. Do you like pineapple as a topping on pizza? I do actually, a little bit controversial, but yeah, I do. Um, I think it has to be a, a, a full Hawaiian pizza. It, I don't think it goes with pepperoni, but uh, yeah, I don't mind a bit of pineapple. And follow up question, do you like Indian food? Many Indians are living in the UK. Yes, I absolutely love Indian food. It's probably my favorite food. Uh, then we've got a question from Robin. How long have you been playing RTS? or AOE in general. I've kind of answered that one already. Uh, CM Gaming, could you do some build orders of infamous strategies like Humza Crumza did in some of his videos with a short presentation of the history and who used it? That's a really good one. I don't think it's necessarily one that I will be following because I think Humza Crumza has done a good job with those. I've got a question from Douglas E. If people were saying bad things about you behind your back, would you want to know? <laughs> Now, that sounds like a loaded question. I'm not really bothered. You can't please everybody. I think sometimes it's good to know, just so you can defend yourself perhaps, but I'm not overly bothered if you say what you want. I'm too old to um, be bothered about stuff like that. Then we have uh, Richard D. As an RTS player to an RTS player, what CNC game should have a remake and why is it relevant too? Yeah, I'd probably agree with you there. Definitely one of the more popular Command and Conquer games. Uh, personally, I was, I was a bigger fan of Red Alert 1, which may very well be controversial, but that's already had a remake, so we'll say Red Alert 2. Okay, then we've got a question from Wasteland Medic. Favourite food? Why is it pizza? Unfortunately, that is my second favourite food. As I've already mentioned, Indian food is my favourite. Specifically, a Vindaloo. If you've not had a Vindaloo, have one. It'll blow your head off. It's great. What other countries have you been to? Also from Wasteland Medic, I've been to the US of A, specifically Florida. I've been to Canada. I've been to Cyprus twice. I've been to Greece. I've been to Spain. Spain. And I think that's it. How did you meet Lady Morley? So I met Lady Morley on a, a drunken night out. It was a Christmas do, went out, got drunk, just met each other, got dancing. I was very, very drunk. She was very, very drunk. I've been drinking black Russian cocktails. I tried jumping up on stage, doing a little bit of a dance. Uh, missed, fell over, cracked my head. And then, uh, yeah, just carried on talking and having a laugh. We were both actually that drunk that neither of us could remember what the other person looked like the next day. So after we'd arranged to meet up, it was quite quite um quite nerve-wracking for the pair of us because neither of us could remember what the other person particularly looked like okay then we've got a question from leonardo ferro and these are the last questions uh so where are you from i'm from a city called derby in the united kingdom of great britain and northern ireland pretty close to nottingham so if you know obviously nottingham 
and Robin Hood, all that sort of stuff. And uh, just a, a little bit of a, a segue from there. I'm actually a Nottingham Forest football fan. So if there's any football fans here, and you know Nottingham Forest, well, that is my team. And secondly, why are your build orders so good? No. Well, some of, there, there is the odd dodgy one. I'm not gonna lie, there is the odd dodgy one, but generally they're all right on me. Uh, a lot of it's just standard matter, um, and where I've just tweaked it, so nothing major. But you do flatter me there, thank you very much. Oh, and you had a follow-up question of, what is your favourite pizza toppings? There's a lot of questions about pizza today. Uh, I'm Italian and I need to know. Uh, my favourite pizza topping is pepperoni. Okay, so moving on from the questions, thank you very much everybody for sending those in. I hope you enjoyed that and got to know a little bit more about myself. Um, which leads me on to the next thing, uh, the channel announcement. As you know, we do have a Morley Games Patreon. Uh, thank you to everybody who has supported via Patreon uh, so far. So I can't thank you enough. Uh, however, the Patreon is closing and uh, I'm actually opening up on YouTube channel membership. So kind of the same as Patreon, but you can have a look on there. There's various tiers. I think the first tier is £2.99. I don't know what that is in uh, obviously dollars or anything, but it's pretty similar to Twitch subscription prices and then it goes up and up there's going to be various different levels and benefits for each level and you can also get your own pdf build order guides via there as well so going to be a few benefits such as having your name appear in credits of the video uh, being able to add me on steam and play some team games with me or even 1v1s you'll also get your own little membership badge so if you do comment on uh, any of the videos you'll have a little special badge so yeah do check out the tiers see if uh, any of those take your fancy it really really helps obviously support more games but to be quite honest just watching the videos liking and commenting it helps me out an absolute ton so there's absolutely no pressure on joining up for channel membership just keep watching keep liking keep commenting come and say hi and you'll really help the channel to grow even more so thank you very much again to everybody for everything you've done so far i'll see you on the next one